It's finally time to start firing up the grill. From city to shore, Acme is everything you need to prep for this summer season. Download the Acme app, the shop for this season's essentials, any way you want. Open the Acme app, clip your deals, then order your items online. An experienced Acme associate will carefully select your groceries, bag your order, and bring it right to your car or deliver right to your door. Download the app or visit acmemarkets.com for program details. Hi there, I'm Adam Kibas. You are listening to another episode of my podcast where I, where, where we talk about various things. We are still in the pandemic. It is a, it is a rainy day, a rainy Monday here in Ordu in Turks, in Turkey on the Black Sea coast. I hope that you all, uh, passed the weekend well i know it's not easy we still we are heading uh, um, uh, towards a winter we never know how uh, how this all will uh, be for all of us in this pandemic however we will continue our in- inquiry into the broad hot topic of desire the last time we talked about love we tried to separate Desire from love, we say that mm, desire in that sense is more subjective, is more individual, whereas love is something you can accomplish in unison with someone else who loves you back. Love needs a reply if you want. That's why I I said that uh, it is not true that you, you love an object because an object like a car or whatever cannot love you back as well as if you see other human beings as objects just as mere or objects to to satisfy your lust then of course you have some sort uh, uh, a misunderstanding or not only a one-sided desire you have some some, some sort of not pretty much um, this is what we will talk about later but this some sort of a false desire where you merely see see someone else like then you as an object object to satisfy your own needs and this is indeed important in our time i mean we live in an over sexualized society and so on and many men especially for physical appearances are being objectified you see this in in on the tv in Reality shows beauty is indeed uh, in the forefront. How you look, uh, love, Iceland, and so on. Nudity is more common uh, than ever before. Yet again, this is not the first time where humans are exposed to nudity. Nudity. This was happening before that as well. However, but uh, what we want to talk about here uh, uh, and continue is of course what we started last year this is the conditions of desire so so that your social standing plays indeed a crucial role in your in your in your self perception and so on but i before we continue i uh, I want to some sort of uh, give a, a definition of love what some sort of in order to sum up what we talked about up to this very day some so so that we some sort of have the same understandings in order to continue in our boat cast so in 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 separation to desire love is an emotional investment that respects likes and and likes the existence of a person and is interested in the physical and emotional satisfaction of that person. This would be some sort of the feeling of love. Uh, love, uh, what we, what I think is very important to to some sort of have a definitions definitions i know i i will uh, some sort of keep them at bay uh, but in philosophy definitions are indeed very important the more accurate and exact you have a definitions the the better it is it is easy however we will not go into detail i always try to come up with general definitions um, is, and be, because we are using Google uh, 
dictionaries so 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 we will always terms of uh, come up with a general definition and so on. so what we talked about little before was of course fear fear as one of the con Conditions of love, fear, sexual fear, especially in the over-sexualized age, where I try to try, try to draw everyone's attention that that over-sexualization is indeed manliness as well is is part of manliness as well, despite the fact that women are are the objects of over-sexualization. So, so through social media, we talked about Sex and the City, and I think Sex and the City is a good. Rec- Recurring theme w- which we can use because it is still um, uh, it is still uh, up to date. It is not outdated, despite the fact that it was in the nineties. And of course, in the nineties, things were a bit different. The internet has had started or was j- just at the beginning, so social media was not very very on. Top so progress, if you want, was very slowly and indeed. So the smartphone changed a lot, uh, uh, and uh, and will will change a lot. However, but uh, the, those uh, mm, topics in in the Sex and the City, those themes which made was made up, are still very important, and we will use them. And ag- again, I I have to uh, announce here that I use a lot of. T- oh, Oh, or I get um, some sort of a very good YouTube channel in order to analyze sex in the city and, and so on is is the take. So so I I watch occasionally some videos. They are very interesting. They they really can help you to understand gender and and so on. Really very interesting stuff. So so you should watch more YouTube channels. Uh, they are for free and and quite interesting and have indeed a high quality and so so and and in fear we talked about it as a as a man you have in in increasingly the fear that you are not be able to perform perform sexuality because everything has uh, been brought down to to uh, to to the, to the beer physics uh, and we are some sort of, if you want, uh, and and this of course has any effect on you how how you treat, uh, how you desire what you desire. And I talked about uh, that man, uh, that or uh, uh, which woman you choose, because this is another part of desire, and this is that the desirability desire uh, has in its or needs in its the possible of success so um, even though let's say an object is out of reach you still some sort of assume that you would get to still still assume that you would uh, some sort of be with uh, for example if you're a man and if you dream of a of a very attractive woman um, even though she might be out of your league but still you you need to have enough con Fidence to assume that you can be with her, that you can be around her, and so on, or that she would some sort of positively respond to your desire. So this is indeed a, a very important thing, especially with human human interactions. I mean, if you desire, I don't know, uh, let's say uh, an an expensive object, then you only. Mm, I mean, of course, this may sound some sort of uh, challenging, but you only need to 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 have enough money to buy this object. But whereas true love or true desire, if not, uh, if if you want to understand it, that way has always uh, in it self the possibility that the object in humans' interactions will reply positive. So that you, as a man, for example, assume yeah, well, this is actually very common among adolescents that you assume that uh, in a way you are uh, that other women they don't know how you really are, and that once you you can reveal you reveal yourself to them, then they will understand and that they will fall in love with you. This is pretty much the reoccurring theme theme in all those uh, superheroes 
uh, uh, like like Spider Man, uh, Spider Man Peter Parker, who was some sort of the under dog. The, then he has some sort of a secret life, and then oh, once the, his girlfriend this covers that he is in actually a hero then she falls in love with him and so on this is as well as you have in Batman and, and in many many comic superheroes so the, this is indeed an issue of the adolescence uh, and and this is in the, indeed the thinking of many adolescent men so that you, this this possibility perceived possibility Ability that you some sort of succeed or that you that your desire get acknowledged even though it is some sort of subjective because you desire uh, like I said desire is an individual desire and you desire some sort of some p person for your own or own esteem f for your own or uh, for your own psyche, if you want, like this example of this attractive woman. I'm, I mean, if you want to have an attractive woman or be be around an attractive woman t to show the world that you are a potent man, this is rather individual. However, I mean, but uh, despite the, the fact that desire is individual or physical, it is indeed still a necessity for love because, of course, human beings are physical uh, at need this so you, you at in 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 first sight you always see the physical appearance of someone yeah i know of course there are some uh, love triangles where people met via i don't know via internet and so on but mm, they they never really work out and those who work out they are rather they are rather Mm, they are rather uh, rare, and this fear, fear of over sexualization, this is of course among me, among women as well. One common example is Sex and the City, the character of Miranda. It is, uh, I mean, this is what we will some sort of repeat over and over again. I mean, because it is still true, and this is something you will even see. Like I said many times here, yeah, this development within the feminism where you adopt male behavior, which is in fact if we uh, if you go along with with constructivism, if you are uh, if you assume um, th that your social gender, so not your biological sex, but yet that your that your social gender, how you behave as a as a man and as a woman, that this is constructed by the society, then of course the male gender is constructed as well. I mean, I gave a lot of example. For example, in ancient Greece, the Greeks mocked the, the Persians because the Persians were trousers, and now uh, now this this is rather reversed in some cultures. Only men were trousers whereas women they have to they wear skirts and so on so so so, so the skirt is still some sort of a female attribute and so on however and then in our time it, it has become difficult for women to succeed and the only way they can succeed is through adopting to the male male uh, to the male uh, uh, world to the male behavior and this is then the character of the Miranda way where you don't have fear sexualization where you fear as well other women this is very important as as well so there is tension within women tension or envy to women like Afro Daiti, what we said, the gender of Afro Daiti, this woman, which you find on social media, over sexualized and, and being loved, like by many men. I mean, you only need to read some comments of, of on Instagram or whatever what people write to those women who post, I don't know, a bikini, pics half naked, pics. Then you see, I mean, what this all means, and of course, you. Everyone will say, yeah, I don't care, I don't need, I don't need approval or whatever. Well, <laughs> approval, I mean, this is something I was only say in a general and it is of course worth that we would analyze this as well. But ap approval in 
is something you need as a human being. It doesn't matter which approval, but in a way you you need to, to have some approval. You need to have some positive response from your environment, even though you say, yeah, yeah well, I, I don't want this kind of a pro approval um, however in your life in your in your working world i mean if you work somewhere and n no one ever approves anything of you as well as not not disapproves anything you do then you sooner or later will get fed up with it and so on so approval is important in your life and when you as a woman for example only get a approval for your physical approval Parents, then of course you will need this kind of approval because it is it is pretty much the only positive thing thing you get because if a woman is for example laborers if he, if she is some sort of uh, accomplishes more than men then she most certainly will get not approval we have a lot of examples where women are being hated because they are overly am am ambitious and so on so so approval in that sense really works that way so even though you say yeah well i don't care i don't care uh, whether uh, whether someone ap likes me on social media approves me on social media yeah, this person either either is lying or has some other ways where he he can some sort of garner self-esteem however uh, however you need something love you need some sort of a positive approval from your environment for example if you if if a child always has gotten a posi, posi, tiff approval approval from 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 its environment then this child later on will become a very uh, very uh, if you want stout adult will have a very uh, st stout character will have a high self-esteem and a belief in its own ability to he saw those mostly those shy children and so on they are mostly those who were child dwarfed or uh, uh, this approved slot uh, and in a in a society where the only way approval get or through the system uh, one very good example is for example the hunger games i mean this is a game this is the only way even though it is this this Topian. This is pretty much the only way you get some sort of can make anything out of your life. Uh, this is so. So there you you play the game. You go along with the game, and this is as well as in our society as well. I mean, if if you have the character of Miranda, this is pretty much the only way or the most common way you can go in the in the U.S. I mean, if you only consider see the how many police Politicians in the U.S. are lawyers compared to to China, for example, where most of the people of the ruling elite are engineers and 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 so on. So this is probably the the only way you can get some sort of approval in your life that you accomplish something. And it is not only on, only about approval; it is as well as 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 it is as well as about accomplishing something. So if you are a Instagram uh, uh, in in influencer or, or if you're on Insta and if you post uh, half naked pics of yourself, of course you some sort of assume assume that this will pay off, despite the fact that most of those, if you read the comments, most of those people who follow this half naked woman are men so there you have to ask yourself here what will you sell there what will you promote there and so on however but you still need this approval you still need some sort of society to acknowledge you as a human being there is of course uh some who uh, who might be interested in this uh, uh f from the frankfurt school of thoughts there are there are works of of axel Honet, who wrote about approval, about unerkennung, about fair kennung, and so on. So everyone who, is, who wants to find out more about this can read him. I think you can even get him in English, but I don't know. I mean, the, this is always an issue with those translations from German into English. The 
other way around it works well so so if uh, if one good uh, book or philosophical book comes out in in english this is mostly translated into german very fast but the other way around this is this is not happening quite often however the uh, however so everyone who wants to find out more more about approval uh, should find this uh, can read more this is axel honet the and many the the frankfurt school of thoughts of course we have, we talked about this uh, the last time as well this is desire desire is of course bind to to your to uh, to your community we talked about french canadian so if you grew up in a certain community if you, if you are surrounded by by some people uh, you, you 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 develop of course desire 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 means of course then being comf comf double being uh, wanting to be around your peers i mean if you are french Canadian and the, uh, and the f French language is a means f of your identity. Then, of course, you want to be around your people. You want to be around around uh, around other other French Canadians. Of course, religion as well. Uh, French Canadians are mostly Catholic, so this this of uh, of course then reflects itself in in your desire you feel homely with them you feel comfortable with them and so on and then this will of course uh, steer your desire as well towards another person from your own community this this is the reason why it is so rare in in reality that people marry or have children cross cultures Despite the fact that we live in a multicultural society, I mean, it is even rare interracial marriages and so on are rare. The only example would be Brazil, but in Brazil this was rather state effort. So in in Brazil, if I remember correctly, the state encouraged interracial marriages. However, but in general, those cross cultures uh cultural marriages they would not work i mean uh for example between catholics and 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 protestants because like in in countries in like in the u.s the the church is in the center of all of the community and and so on so you are socialized through the church so cross culture uh mixing if you want does not happen and and in those times this has happened this is rather rare uh, so um, however then another uh, con social condition for for uh, for these eyes of course ideological and political for example you can i read uh, on Twitter and whatever that some girls and women would not uh, be around other uh, members of the other party that you think that ideology Kelly that there are many difference between them one common example is for example which you f find among among young socialists or or communists that they would not be around the capi Capitalist, no matter what it is. I mean, capitalism is indeed a very broad term, term, and in uh, and you have to some sort of analyze that, prove it, yeah, not prove it, but analyze it and some sort of explicit it or make it more clear in in our time because capitalism or being a capitalist is is way too broad and it is, it's not as narrow as it was when Marx wrote his copy capital however but there are still some so, sort of prejudices between uh, 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 between those classes for example if you are socialist and so on then, then it was mostly considered that capitalists some so, sort of that they are some sort of uh, uh, or, uh, or the upper 
class is in a way some sort of narrow-minded that they that they uh, cold-hearted i mean this was very common that the, that those wealthy people are cold-hearted that they do not care about other people they live above their means and on on uh, on the back of others this is pretty much the narration or was the narration in the french revolution uh, about the ancien regime and, and so on so this is some sort of still very common in in some young socialist uh, sphere scenes uh, this perception that the, that the upper upper class that is the, that this is not desirable that this People, especially in Austria, they did not uh, really earn it because in Austria and in Europe uh, there is a lot of old money. This is uh, different to America because in America there are a lot of self-made millionaires. There are people who work their way up and and accomplish something. Whereas in uh, in Europe there are there is a lot of old money. This means that people inherit money. This is the old wealth people had. Uh, for, gathered for before sent tourists there is still despite the fact that there is no monarchy in Austria there is still some sort of a uh, perception of royalty even though I think it's ridiculous however however there is still some sort of perception of royalty this comes of wealth and uh, a lot of people inherit and in Austria is some sort of the, comp the, the perception that these people they do not do uh, a day of honest work and they have all inherited their stuff they are lazy and so on and so on so there is some sort of a negative perception and this matters this matters in your desire because with your desire you identify yourself as well i mean uh, you if if you have a lot of nigger diffuse about uh, someone else or against an, another group of course you don't want to be around them of course you will not desire this uh, this uh, a person whatever the most important or uh, one of uh, those uh, uh, key key non or, or undesirable things is in the recent time poly affiliation because of the election so so you some sort of assume that the other part is, is some sort of lazy this is what you some sort of have the discussion in the US among uh, Republicans and so on that Democrats would be lazy that that they want to live off the state that these are not hardworking people that they're dubious the, that they don't have any plans and so on there, there are a lot of prejudice this is so, and this is not only in the U.S. but as well as in Austria. In Austria, the the conservatives they always assume that the socialists that they are lazy people. And I even read once that stated that Marx would be some sort of uh, or was an advocate of advocate of laziness. That this Marxist uh, money money fest or the communist uh, society would be where everyone would just uh, do nothing all day long be lazy and do nothing all day long well again i mean, I mean marx marx and Engels did not say much how this communist society would look like however uh, how you want to say it i put it this is indeed a very difficult uh, well not only uh, not difficult but this is indeed a project this is there are of course some hard working i would not say socialist i mean uh, the, there are some sort some questionable branches within socialism this is indeed true but i would not say that uh, per se socialist meant if you want to care about other people this does not mean that you are you are automatically uh, that you are automatically um, lazy however however there are some of of are some issues concerning issues and and some sort of in the US the Republicans they always understand them as some sort of the financial uh, conscience of the society this is uh, of of course understandable I mean you don't want to incur uh, the, the 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 plight of of debts to 
future generations. However, this is not always easy, uh, especially when people are starving and and so on. However, however, those uh, those prejudices they play the other way around as well. I mean, I mean in 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 poly. Takes the left, for example, always assume that um, I don't know that that uh, conservatives that they are boring, that they are some sort of backward, that they live in an in a in an in an old age. This is especially in the European branch of socialism, where one always assumes that we are more than more than or in the European branch of left. Where one always assumes, yeah, we are more than we are out of the ordinary. Well, I would not assume this is uh, first not true. As uh, so many socialists, especially um, those whom I met in in Austria, they are not that more than at all. So, so there are m- many who are backward, backward, uh, that who are who have uh, dubious beliefs questionable approaches to society and it is not always tr- true that socialists care about people because this is another some sort of prejudice this which the socialists claim or accomplishment which many socialists claim for themselves and this is that they would only care about about people about the sick and poor whereas all the others the conservatives they they don't care about others they don't care about human beings they only c- would care you always have we have to say would uh, emphasize the word would because it is not true that they would not care care about p- people about the old and the and the sick and this is only about money and uh, this is if you want the perception within a lot of s- socialists in Europe as well as in the US you can see this on the social media media uh, media and so on and of course this this then determines our desire as well this some sort of molds our desire our our political ideology our religion our political proper Ganda, if you only watch uh, um, uh, elections, how how elections or how every party bought to, to raise itself, uh, you can see this in this in this in this uh, pandemic as well. So so despite the, uh, you see a lot of I would say nonsense. This is indeed nonsense of of non vaccinators, uh, but uh, again, so they um, uh, they they do not pin them selves against each other as vaccine vaccinators and non vaccinators now this is rather ideological this is rather, this is some sort of if you want and if you read some some of these statements of non vaccinators now this is rather about health this is about someone who is healthy someone who has already been healthy who uh, who does not need the vaccination and so on so on, so and 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 that again, this is some sort of a narration which uh, assumably never will stop. That uh, that those healthy people who work out and so on, that they have to take care of all those others, uh, those who who have some sort of pre-existing conditions and and so on, other or have some sort of obesity and so on. This was in the beginning of the pandemic where it was stated that people who have, who have some issues like being obese, heart diseases and whatever that they would be more likely to to some sort of suffer more or die from covid in the beginning of the pandemic there was this perception yeah uh, the, these are people who live healthy these these are people who who eat unhealthy who do not exercise and they some sort of deserve it if you want so this is as well as with a lot of issues you you find in the us for example with with um, with uh, health insurance with health care whereas in continental europe you well it is not that easy so so in austria i would not go to, to a doctor if i have to be honest because this is r- rather scary because your chances are 50 50 that you will actually meet a true doctor that's that's the next thing however but in general all these issues about health care and so on this is again of something about 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 some sort of perceived health, health and so on, so that uh, some people. This is what you saw in the, in the news and and in the self 
trail of other people that some think especially uh, on the conservative side they think yeah we work out we do a lot for to maintain our health that that this would be sufficient enough whereas others they do nothing and why should the state be the bulk of their health issues and so on well it is it is not that easy of course because like i uh, said there are pre-existing con Conditions. There are people who are born that way, but of course there are some other things w which I would say people bear responsibility. This, of course, if you smoke, this is I was I was a smoker. I stopped. I quit smoking a couple of years ago. I was a smoker. Or if you drink a lot of alcohol, so and and if you have liver cirrhosis and so on if you do not take care of yourself then uh, then this is this is indeed your own responsibility so that we should live healthy and that obesity is something we should not uh, encourage because it is an unhealthy lifestyle it is of course understandable how but again this is this place uh, of course into our desire what we desire i mean if you if you think or the, there you see some sort of the, this this huge gap between those generations i mean if you if if you have a presumption that you have to live healthy that your body is very valuable and so on you would rather not desire someone who is not like you someone who is the upper upper seat of you and 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 vice versa um, i mean this is we have a lot of uh body positive uh, movement they some sort of created our own sub culture we talked about this uh, so this is this is the sub culture where they have their own rules where they have their own own own, own if you want uh, approval mechanisms where they can feel comfortable with themselves with their body where they uh, some s sort of do not feel the social eye which is some sort of chiding them because they are <laughs> pardon me, because they are obese and so on and they will of course will not be want to leave this sub culture because then you would lose all all this uh, this comfort and and so on or being different this this does not mean or does not, this should not be understood as neg negative or something. No, this is understandable. So the, uh, what I'm trying to say here is, for example, if you are a part of a migrant culture, then it is very rare that you marry outside, like uh, in our example of French Canadians. If you have been around French Canadians your entire life, if you consider yourself as French Canadian and that you have approval for your group for being French, French Canadian and so on, then you have not a likelihood that you want to uh, fall out of them, so fall out of that because this is some sort of a family or this is a, your peer group you don't have, will have some sort of a undesire or uh, it is undesirable for you to fall out of this group, despite the fact, let's say, that uh, there's a very attractive man or woman you desire, which is not f f French or Canadian. And if you, I don't know, want to be together with them more than ju just if you want a one night stand, then you, you, this may be uh, considered un desirable if uh, because you would lose out uh, being of with your family and so on so this is how sub cultures work and and so on they give you some sort of a, a means of understanding and identity uh, and you will some sort of maintain this identity this willingness uh, and and the same is true for political ideology because they are part of your identity uh, you know, we live in an age of identity poly politics this is what uh, all the or all the elections are about in europe in 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 the u s i mean migration the, the fear of foreigners this plays into in in to those identity politics and they play a crucial part in our in how we create our identity how we want to portray our our identity this is what you see in the u s as well with all this uh 
uh, 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 refugees going uh, and tearing or trying to enter the U.S. How this plays in the society, their identity, their self perception, and so on. This is indeed a key part of how we understand each other, and uh, to, and this all uh, is true for sub cultures at when uh, as well and of course this deter determines then um, what we desire or what we con consider and perceive as desirable again because the object we desire or the the person we desire has to have some some values i mean like being attractive yeah being attractive alone is not enough anymore it is some times yeah but But like I try to argue here, there is some sort of ways where you some sort of would find an attractive woman or an attractive man rather undesirable, maybe only desirable for 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 a short period of time. This would be sexual intercourse, but not in a long term. These things then would be some sort of undesirable in that since you would lose your identity and so on and so forth. So this is indeed a key component, identity politics and our identity are indeed a key part. And and it is not that if you only compare these two baby boomers, if you want, it was rather easy, some sort of cross the borders to, a, to another uh, to, to another world through so it was not rigid if you want B back in the days but now uh, days the borders have become very rigid between those uh, world views because the be, between those ideologies so so inter marriages if you want or inter intercultural relationships are not that easy anymore Uh, because uh, of the barriers which has been out some sort of it is in a way again some sort of uh, 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 a contradiction in a way we have over sexualized uh, a person we have bare bare physics but yet there is a movement if you want a demand on uh, in the opposite direction This is something we will have to talk about as well, but indeed very interesting and 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 so on. Or, or if you want, I mean, I mean, uh, if you are part of a religious group um, and so on, and if you marry someone who is not religious, for example, or who has a different religion, then uh, you consider into your desire which uh, the possible ability that you could fall out with your community that you could some sort of uh, be, be a child that exposed be alone be alone this is then then if you want to uh, have a bare util utilitaristic approach this is undesirable this is this is this is some sort of uh, associated with pain and so and you will try to try to uh, avoid this and this again place indeed in this desire in this what you desire what, um, uh, uh, what you want and and so on uh, of, of course these social barriers they, um, have some sort of always something tempting this is something we should not deny i mean i mean freud, freud sigmund freud no matter whether you like him or not wrote back in the days about uh, this hidden desire and so on so some sort of overcome social conventions overcome social barriers i would uh, i would not say or i would still say that uh, this is partially true in our times because of this rigid rigid static borders we have made among each other however we will continue talking about this so this was some sort of social conditions i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about social so i wanted to talk about social conditions and we will continue the next time this was adam kievas from ordu in turkey we are still in the pandemic i hope that you all take care of yourself on this october it has been gotten
cold in in Turkey. So uh, wear warm clothes and take care. Bye. It's finally time to start firing up the grill. From city to shore, Acme is everything you need to prep for this summer season. Download the Acme app, the shop for this season's essentials, any way you want. Open the Acme app, clip your deals, then order your items online. An experienced Acme associate will carefully select your groceries, bag your order, and bring it right to your car or deliver right to your door. Download the app or visit acmemarkets.com for program details.